Today we are going to explore the history of sailboats. What are some of the boats that people used a long time ago? Why did people use these boats? How did these boats change over the years? And what makes boats move? These are all questions that we are going to try to answer in the next few minutes. So the first boats were rafts. They were flat boats made of logs tied together with vines or rope. Then people made canoes, which were boats made of branches covered with bark or animal skins. They were also made by digging out the middle of tree trunks to make them hollow. Some of the first boats with sails were made in Egypt over 5,000 years ago. These boats were made with a wooden frame covered with wood planks. They were large enough for 20 people with oars and could carry several cows at a time. They had a double mast joined at the top where the sails were hung. Later, single masts were used. The sails were raised by a roller at the top of the mast. Scientists who studied the past, called archaeologists, thought that these boats were not strong enough to sail very far. A man named Thor Heyerdahl thought they were wrong and set out to prove that the old boats were strong. He made a boat just like the Egyptians did and tried to cross the Atlantic Ocean on it in 1969. He named his boat Ra. On his second try, he made it all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. At the end of the 1400s, boats stopped using oars to power them and began using only sails. These large boats were sailed in the Atlantic Ocean from Northern Europe. Different kinds of sailing ships were made. A caravel was a boat that like Christopher Columbus used in 1492. It had three or four sails. In America during the 1700s, sloops and schooners were sailed. A sloop was a one mast with one jib and mainsail. A schooner has two masts, one at the front of the ship and one in the middle of the ship. From these ships, Americans designed clipper ships. These clippers were long and narrow with three tall masts. They were much faster than other ships because of their streamlined design. In the 1850s, sailing ships were used a lot for passengers and cargo. These ships sailed all over the world from America to Europe and to China. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, steam-powered ships were built and began to replace the sailing ships. Sailboats were used mainly for fun and recreation today. They were made mostly with hulls made of fiberglass and made of aluminum to be much lighter. These materials, like the boat, made the boat lighter and faster. The most famous of sailing races is the America's Cup. Boats from all over the world compete in this race. It began in London in 1851 and was called the Queen's Cup. A schooner called the America raced against 14 other boats from England. The America won the race. In 1857, the trophy was given to the New York Yacht Club and has been called the America's Cup ever since. Up until 1881, the winners of the races were either sloops or schooners. After 1881, all the racing boats were single mast sloops, or cutters. The America's Cup race is not held every year. When it is held, there are several races in each competition. The winning sailboat has to beat many other boats from around the world. The boats sail only two at a time. A sailboat has many parts. Some of the parts that you should be familiar with are the sail, which is a piece of strong fabric used to catch the wind, the mast, which is an upright pole that holds the sail in place, the boom, which is a pole that holds the sail out straight, and the hull, which is the body of the sailboat at the bottom. I hope that's answered some of your questions about sailboats. Happy sailing! Thank you.